All right, so tonight's story is Snowman Magic by Catherine Teagan. And Addison wants to show a snake that she got from Texas Roadhouse. Yeah, even my brother can do. It's very cool. It can bend it. It can bend, yeah. And even you can make a mama, but like a G's for a like tail. All right, let's get our story started, okay? Snowman magic. Snowmen fall. No, that's not where the story starts. Oh, what's he doing? Look at those eyes. He's looking out the window outside. It had been snowing all day. Snowing, snowing, snowing. Just like it was snowing here, right? Two days ago. George was bored. There was no school, so he needed something to do. He kept looking out the window. Would it ever stop? The next morning, the sun was shining. When George looked out the window, everything was a brilliant white. The snow was so bright, it was almost hard to look at. If he squinted, he could see it was very deep and it had drifted high against the slope in his backyard. Look. What are they? Look. Birdies. What kind of birdies? I don't remember. Cardinals. George put on his warm socks and his snow pants and his flannel shirt. Then he put on his snow jacket, his boots, his mittens, and his hat. He was ready. Just like Addy Girl. Outside, the air smelled clean and cold. George plunged into the snow. It was fluffy, but crunchy, too. He made a snowball and threw it against a tree. It was very, very quiet. George took some snow and packed it into a small ball. Then he started rolling the ball in the snow. The ball got bigger and bigger. When the ball got too heavy to roll, he stopped rolling it near the bottom of the slope. Then he started rolling a medium-sized ball. He put it on top of the big ball. Finally, he made a small ball for the top. What do you think he was building? Snowman. A snowman. George went inside the house and found a scarf in the closet and a carrot in the refrigerator. In the old days, his mother told him, people used to take pieces of coal and use them to make eyes. But there wasn't any coal in George's house, so he found two buttons and brought them outside with the scarf and the carrot. He carefully pushed the buttons into the small ball near the top. He stuck the carrot in the center. He found a few small twigs and used them to make a mouth. He wrapped the scarf between the top ball and the middle ball, and he found two branches to stick into the sides of the middle ball. It was a perfect snowman. George turned his head. He thought George turned his head. He thought the snowman he thought he saw the snowman smiling at him. Could it be? Do you think the snowman was smiling? Time for a snack, said George. He went inside the house and got two mugs of hot chocolate and some cookies. He put them on the snow table. Would you like something to eat, George asked. I can't drink hot chocolate, the snowman said, but a cookie would be nice. It was magic. The snowman was talking. After their snack, George made a cave, tunneling deep into the slope. He piled up snowballs at the entrance, then he threw a couple at the snowman. The snowman made some snowballs and threw them back at George. His long branch arms helped him throw the snowballs very far. He was, it was hard to say who won the fight, but it was still fun. The snowman chased George around the yard, and then George chased the snowman. The snowman couldn't move that fast, so it was easy for George to sneak up on him. It was starting to get dark. George didn't want to go inside, but his mother was calling him. Goodbye, snowman, he said. I will see you tomorrow. George thought he heard the snowman say, Good night. 
The next day it was warmer, the sun was even brighter, and the snowman was shrinking. George played with him all day, but he could tell the snowman didn't have quite the same energy. It was Monday. George had to go to school. It was another bright, warm day. When he came home, the snowman was almost gone. The scarf and the carrot and the buttons had slid down. He could hardly recognize his snowman. The cave had collapsed, too, and the snow table had melted. The next morning, George looked out the window. It was snowing, 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 snowing. He couldn't wait to build his snowman again. Is this the last page? That's the last page, the end. So you think the snowman was really talking to him? Yeah. Yeah? Or was it make-believe? Was it make believe? Was it pretend? Ten. Yeah, snowmans don't don't come to life too often. But it was a cute story. Did you like it? Yeah, but I really like the um, one part. Oh, yeah. I think a lot. You like the one part? Yeah. What part? The Not part where part. he made the snowman? Mm -hmm. Like the part of when we were out when the old saw snow and he saw these. Oh, the cardinals. They're very pretty birds. No, Mama. Not that. Is he little footprints? His little footprints in the snow? I like this part. That's your favorite part where he was building? Yeah. You ready for bed? Yeah, so he made a big one, a big one, and then little, little, and bigger. You ready for bed? I love you. I love you too. Little, Good night. Big, big. Good night. Good night. You like that Shut story, Shut up, huh? you story, you know. Oh, that's not nice. That's not nice.